A 100 feet wide asteroid is heading for a close encounter with Earth on Sunday and could come closer than some orbiting satellites. But scientists are sure it will miss the Earth by at least 15,000 miles, and say there is no need to panic. The space rock, named 2013 TX-68, was spotted three years ago by astronomers in the U.S. scouring the skies for potentially threatening near-Earth objects. We already knew this asteroid, 2013 TX-68, would safely fly past Earth in early March, but this additional data allow us to get a better handle on its orbital path, said Paul Chodas, manager of GNEOS. There is no concern whatsoever regarding this asteroid, unless you were interested in seeing it with a telescope said Chodas. Prospects for observing this asteroid which were not very good to begin with, are now even worse because the asteroid is likely to be farther away, and therefore dimmer than previously believed. The data indicate that this small asteroid will probably pass much farther away from Earth than previously thought. Because it was tracked for only 10 days, its orbital path is uncertain. Experts believe it will make its closest approach to Earth on Sunday, although the forecast might be one or two days out. Calculations show that 2013 TX-68 could shoot past the Earth well within the ring of geostationary communications and GPS satellites stationed 22,300 miles above the equator. At the other limit of its predicted range it could remain as far out as 40 times the distance to the Moon. U.S. astronomer Sean Marshall, from Cornell University in New York, who studies INEOs such as comets and asteroids, said, should this asteroid come closer than the geostationary satellites, it would be a rare occurrence that only happens about once per decade for large asteroids. What we know for sure is that it will not collide with Earth this month, so do not panic. He added, it is extremely unlikely that any satellite will get hit. TX-68's trajectory will take it on an arc through a huge region of space, and satellites are very small objects. An asteroid hitting a satellite would be like a blindfolded person throwing a pebble and hitting a single small needle in an enormous haystack. He said the asteroid had absolutely no chance of colliding with the International Space Station, which circles the Earth at an altitude of only about 250 miles. The closest that TX-68 can possibly get to Earth is 24,000 kilometers, 15,000 miles, said Mr. Marshall. NASA's initial estimate showed the whale-sized space rock may skim past Earth at just 11,000 miles, 17,000 kilometers, which is around 21 times closer to Earth than the Moon, but NASA admitted this estimate may be widely inaccurate and the asteroid may also pass Earth as far out as 9 million miles, 14 million km. Now a new prediction for 2013 TX-68 is that it will fly by roughly 3 million miles, 5 million kilometers, from our planet. Additional observations of asteroid 2013 TX-68 have been obtained, refining its orbital path and moving the date of the asteroid's Earth flyby from March 5th to March 8th, NASA said. The observations, 
from archived images provided by the NASA-funded Pan-STARRS Asteroid Survey, enabled scientists at NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, NEOS, at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, to refine their earlier flyby and distance predictions, reconfirming that the asteroid poses no threat to Earth. Marco McKelly of the European Space Agency's NEO Coordination Center, NEAC Space Dice, in Frescati, Italy, is the astronomer who identified the object in the archived images, measured its position, and provided these observations to the Minor Planet Center in Cambridge, Massachusetts. NEOS's new prediction for 2013 TX68 is that it will fly by roughly 3 million miles, 5 million kilometers, from our planet. There is still a chance that it could pass closer, but certainly no closer than 15,000 miles, 24,000 kilometers, above Earth's surface. The new observations also better constrain the path of 2013 TX68 in future years. NEOS has determined that 2013 TX68 cannot impact Earth over the next century. Orbit calculations of asteroids are constantly updated based on observations reported to the Minor Planet Center. This results in projections of minimum, maximum and nominal distances from Earth which can sometimes have a wide disparity due to limited data. Over time, with additional observations added to the equation, scientists are able to refine and narrow the orbit uncertainties. Scientists have also identified an extremely remote chance that the small asteroid could impact on September 28, 2017, with odds of no more than 1 inch-250 million. Flybys in 2046 and May 2097 have an even lower probability of impact. The possibilities of collision on any of the three future flyby dates are far too small to be of any real concern, said Paul Chodas, manager of NEOS. I fully expect any future observations to reduce the probability even more. Asteroid 2013 TX68 is estimated to be about 100 feet, 30 meters, in diameter. By comparison, the asteroid that broke up in the atmosphere over Chelyabinsk, Russia, three years ago was approximately 65 feet, 20 meters, wide. If an asteroid the size of 2013 TX68 were to enter Earth's atmosphere, it would likely produce an airburst with about twice the energy of the Chelyabinsk event. The asteroid was discovered by the NASA-funded Catalina Sky Survey on October 6, 2013, as it approached Earth on the nighttime side. After three days of tracking, the asteroid passed into the daytime sky and could no longer be seen. Because it was not tracked for very long, scientists cannot predict its precise orbit around the Sun, but they do know that it cannot impact Earth during its flyby next month. This asteroid's orbit is quite uncertain, and it will be hard to predict where to look for it, said Chodas. There is a chance that the asteroid will be picked up by our asteroid search telescopes when it safely flies past us next month providing us with data to more precisely define its orbit around the Sun. In September, Paul Chodas, manager of NASA's Near Earth Object Office at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, said, there is no existing evidence that an asteroid or any other celestial object is on a trajectory that will impact Earth. In fact, not a single one of the known objects has any credible chance of hitting our planet over the next century. NASA tracks around a 12,992 near-Earth objects which have been discovered orbiting within our solar system close to our own orbit. 
It estimates around 1,607 are classified as potentially hazardous asteroids.